Morning, everyone. Hey, it's Roger from Raptor Pack RVing, and I'm coming to you today from River Park RV Resort in the beautiful city of Grants Pass, Oregon. So today, we have a cool how-to video on the install of the Condor wheel chalk in our Raptor toy hauler. So hang tight, and let's see if we can get this thing installed, show you a little bit about this wheel chalk. So let me introduce you to our girl. We call her Samantha. We have a 2010 Harley Davidson Ultra Limited. And up until now, either I rode her all the way to Arizona and my wife pulled her trailer, or she stayed home like this last winter. And if anyone knows, if you winter down in Arizona and you don't have your bike, you go through a big depression. But problem solved. January of this year, we bought our 2018 Raptor 425 TS. We have a 12 foot garage, which is primarily our son's bedroom. So when it came to looking for wheel chocks, I didn't want a permanent wheel chalk because then he would have to live around uh, this big old Cumbersome. contraption in his bedroom. So after a lot of research, we went and found the Condor. This is the Condor. Uh, pit stop totally portable and I'm not going to take you through really the unboxing of it because there's a lot of videos on that it's so simple you get it there's two flathead screws up here screw them in lock that up um, this pin comes out so when you're not using it uh, you can take this out drop that down uh, but when you're using it the pin goes up like so, and then back here, you have a lot of different settings. I've got a 17 inch wheel on the front of our bike and I have found from testing it now, the third hole up for me, uh, when this rotates forward, you want this part to be parallel, parallel to the ground and real easy. It comes out of the box pretty much already assembled. This area here is the reason why I got it. I have the adapter, I'll show you and as we install it in our toy hauler this comes out which is really cool this was the biggest selling point for us we we looked at so many different wheel chocks and we wanted something that can transport the bike when we're moving and when we get to somewhere i could take this out my son has his bedroom the adapter for is simply i don't know was that maybe a half inch inch this will get mounted into uh, the back trailer so when I take it out it's the little hump he can live with that we'll put the carpet over it but the adapter we're gonna show you uh, a buddy of mine is coming over he's an RV uh, service and repair specialist he's installed these before and so we're gonna walk you through the installation of this inside the trailer before we get into the install I want to show you how cool this is for folks like us we're full-time RVers you know I need a place to park my bike Sometimes we're camping and we back up on grass and you know kickstands don't do well on grass. So I'm going to show you how great this free stand is. Um, I'm going to be using this outside and how simple it is to get the bike on there. So let's get the bike in. As simple as that, and what's really cool, the bike stands up free, even a little back and forth. It's a great stand. Like I said, these can be used in your garage. Full-time RVers, we use it outside. So, great stand to detail your bike if you have to work on the bike, um, and it goes in real easy. Getting it out is as simple as putting it in. Rolls right on out. So with that, let's get inside the trailer and get this thing mounted. Well, welcome back. It's the next day. Here's my buddy, Jeremy Friend. 
Jeremy uh, is the owner of Jeremy's RV uh, RV service and repair. Guy's been doing a great job. So after two hours of poor Jeremy out there trying to find the bolts, let me show you what you're gonna get. What you're gonna get is you're gonna get a three inch bolt. I have a 2018 Raptor and we're going to install it right over the center um was it tie down yeah yeah this tie down is welded to the frame and down inside we measured it what these are these are five inch bolts uh same as what what came with it poor guy had to <laughs> drive all over southern oregon to, to find a five inch bolt but we got it so so we're going to install that, Jeremy, just right on, go right through the top, huh? Yeah, I think we're going to just go, you know, we'll have to, we'll have to drill through these guys. It might, uh... that's cool. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and go that route. It's not a bad idea to, to go underneath there and look and make sure you're not going into any kind of wiring that might be tied up around that frame. Mm -hmm. So we'll just take a second and do that real quick. Okay. Um, that piece of the, the uh, floor joist or your stringer, I guess you could call it, um, looks like it's okay. Looks like it's probably um, four inches in width. Um, so you have a little room to play with if, if you're going to be putting that in through the floor. Okay. Especially on a on a rig like this. So cool. It should be good. We don't have any anything in the way. one we didn't have to cut into the we're not gonna have to cut into the material right we're just gonna we're going right through the frame there yeah so hopefully they're all they've got to be you know manufactured like that if they're right. gonna be welded into this yeah that's probably one of the biggest purposes for these pieces right, here right I bet you um, I, there might not be any other ones aside from where your tie downs are right so it's just a little extra. It's better than having to plate it. It's right. basically like its own plate there. Its but, own plate, yeah. But it's attached to the, you know, the very top of the frame. So if you're gonna, if we we were gonna put the stand off to the side, it probably still would have worked. Yes. We can go through, and that's attaching it directly over the tie downs. Right. Yeah, because the tie downs are welded to the and frame. And you can see where that weld is yep. there. That's exactly where the tie downs are. Yep. And here's here's so, the other tie down. Yeah. Where where that weld is. Uh, and then the 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 double the. The other layer of this is probably uh -huh. just your casing for right. for your. I bet your fresh water tank is underneath yep. here. Yep. So, I'll go ahead and finish drilling that off. It's still pretty tough. Um, did you call that a step bit? Yeah, right. Step bit. A yeah. step bit or a unit bit. There you go. And they, a lot of them will have marks on them. Oh yeah. So you can go down to five sixteen. Right, right, right. Okay. So it just keeps Use you from a step bit and helps helps get the uh, five sixteen drill through there. Right. And a lot of times these some of these can be expensive. These you can pick up a three pack at Harbor Freight for like twenty bucks. Because really? you'll go through them pretty fast. But a good unit bit like this, a little bit bigger. Um, is going to be 40 50 bucks if you actually bought you but they, that's the best for drilling steel, right um you know for stuff like this okay so we got the holes through i'm going to put the uh the adapter on top the five inch bolt and it should work Slide it forward, correct? Slide it forward, okay. yep. yep. So there you go. Jeremy's outside uh, cleaning up his tools. This is the finished product. It's a clean look. Um, like we said, uh, this is our son's bedroom, so we roll the carpet back out. It'll cover it really nice. So now it's simply just underneath your uh, condor, 
you've got these couple little bolts here that go lock in and set them in, slide it forward, put in your locking pin all the way down. And this thing, this is going nowhere. So I'd like to thank Jeremy uh, for helping out. And if you're in Southern Oregon and you need a really, really good RV servicemen, repairmen, Jeremy's mobile RV repair. Um, I'm gonna put his name and his phone number down below in the uh, notes. Give him a call. This guy could do pretty much everything. He's been in this industry for over 25 years and he's just all around a good guy. So we're done. I guess the next video I do, hon, is see if we can get this big old behemoth of a bike up the ramp and into this without uh, going on America's Funniest Video. So, <laughs> hey guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps you out. Um, installing this in a uh, toy hauler is totally different than putting it in a utility trailer. So, but we did it. It's through the frame. We're good to go. Hey, from Raptor Pack RVing to you, travel more, stress less. We'll see you down the road.